So today we're going to be today we're going to be looking at the fact that the UK is is going to bring in a 14 day quarantine for air passengers, but that's not going to kick in until uh, June, I believe. It's not going to kick in until like the end of, end of this month. Um, so UK airlines um, say that the government and the go, um, UK airlines say they've been told the government will bring in a 14 day uh, quarantine for anyone arriving in the UK from any country apart from the Republic of Ireland in response to the coronavirus pandemic. And so they're still they're still kind of they're saying that they're going to bring this in. Right. And other countries like the Czech Republic, they've done this since March. We're heading into June. They've done this since the cold and rainy period of the year. We're bringing this into the sweltering period of the year. How bizarre is that? That it's taken us this long to figure this out. It's not clear how long the new travel restrictions will be in place, and um, it's, there's no there's no idea on how to how they're actually going to enforce it. So, um, government and aviation sources told the BBC that the new quarantine would mean people would be expected to provide an address when they will arrive at the border. So, you know, you'd be told, you know, where you're going to be staying. So, it's not it's not the biggest thing in the world. Uh, we need to see the details of what they're pro proposing. Say say uh, UK Airlines. So, you know, the, the airlines haven't been told what specifically is going to happen. Um, so it's not clear if there's going to be any kind of um, temperature testing or anything like that for people coming in. Um, a spokeswoman for Belfast International Airport said it had written to the government to clarify what the plans were, adding that the airport had not been consulted on the move. So what they've done is, just like Georgia said before, the lack of planning within the country shows greatly the fact that they're saying, oh, we're going to do this thing. And then the airlines, how are you going to do this? And then they're like, um, we'll get back to you on that. They probably don't even get a reply, to be fair. Um, so there was a comment from Lisa Nandy. So uh, there it is. So the government, you know, she wants the government to clarify because of all the mixed messages. People have been brought back in relatively large numbers, and many of them telling us that they have no, they have no information or guide or advice given up what they should do when they get home. So if you're, I guess, a more responsible person, you would take it on yourself to self isolate for two weeks. But if you're, you know, coming back to live with your family or check on your family or whatever. How do you do that? That's that's the difficult thing, especially if you're coming from a country such as Italy or Spain, where the outbreak has been far well. It was far worse. Obviously, now now we've got it. The worst sick man of Europe. You're never seeing that. Um, but now the BBC understands that key workers such as lorry drivers who transport goods and people working in the shipping industry would be exempt. I would ramp up testing within these industries. Um, but at the same time, it's very difficult to test people that are moving in lorries, um, especially because they don't stay long here. Well, hopefully they don't. Um, so Heathrow spokesman um, said any measures must be agreed and uh, must be medically effective and meet public expectations and be deliverable at airports, which is the thing that might be difficult. Uh, we will continue to do everything we can to support the government um, health during this health crisis, keeping vital trade routes open for British businesses, blah, blah, blah. So um, all, the, all, all the industry is saying is you need to tell us what specifically you want and how you want it doing and how... how um, how medically effective it's going to be. So Grant Shapps, the guy uh, Boris threw under the bus because he had to defend Dominic Cummings, said, we are actively looking at these issues right now so that when we have, an, we have infection rates within the country under control, we're not importing. No, no big man. What, what you do is nearer the start, you put in these, measurement, these measures so that people coming into the country um, won't add to the people um, that are already um, not infected. You don't do this later on you know, you don't close the barn door after Raccoon City's happened. You shut down everything. So anyone coming in, especially tourists or people coming back from other countries, they should be asked to quarantine for 14 days. So Grant Chaps being like, oh, you know, now that we've got things more under control, you know, we can look at stopping people coming in um, so they won't bring the virus here. You idiot. Absolute idiot. Um, you do that. You do that first off. That's an easier thing to implement. Um, he said that it's important that we do not that we ensure that the sacrifices in a sense social distancing that we're asking British people to make are matched by anyone who comes into the country that's fair enough but at the same time you should have done this much earlier a spokesperson said we do not comment on leaks so this looks like it was leaked information um, but I'm not 100% on that um, so if a quarantine so people are going to argue that if a quarantine is needed now so people coming into the country now if they need to go um, to self-isolate why isn't this why hasn't this been done weeks ago or in this case, months ago. Why hasn't this been done in March? So it makes it look like a stupid thing to do. And they could say that, oh, so we stop people coming in with the virus. Um, but at the same time, you should have done this from the start. It's pretty obvious. So here we've got tens of thousands of people have flown into the UK during the pandemic, although the government says the vast majority were returning home to people coming back from holidays or people trapped abroad um, in other countries. So the BBC understands that um, Grant Shapps will encourage the public to continue to work from home if they can. Uh, this is like all the standard stuff. Young men are more likely than women, young women to break the rules. That's not a big surprise. 
um, up to 2,000 seafarers are stranded on ships. So this is all like, I'm not sure how accurate the information is. Obviously, the death toll is far higher now because this article is written um, nearer at the start of the month, the 9th of May. Um, but it's important to uh, look at this because it shows that the government have once again um, closed the barn door after the horse has bolted. And um, that shouldn't be a big surprise to anyone because this is stuff that other countries have done. And we're still behind. We're still behind the eight ball. And the idea that we can do things on our own is just is looking more and more farcical by the day. And so I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.